Seed Folks, Maricela, Part 2. One day in August, it was just me and Penny. This black woman, Leona, who had a garden and talked to us, came over and gave me some she'd grown. They were yellow. She called them goldenrod, and she said if I made them into tea, it would help me with the delivery. She knew I didn't want to be pregnant. I could tell her about it. That day, it was almost too humid to talk. The windows around the garden were open, and you could hear ten different TVs and radios. A storm was coming. The thunder was getting closer, and then it hit. Bam! Then all the TVs and radios went off. So did the lights. It was a power failure. It was quiet in the garden without all the noise. So quiet, it was weird. I looked around. An old man near us was slowly picking cucumbers like nothing had happened. Whole city shuts down, but the garden just keeps going, Leona said. She talked on how plants don't run on electricity or clock time, how none of nature did. How nature ran on sunlight and rain and the seasons, and how I was part of that system. The word sort of put me into a daze. My body was part of nature. I was related to bears, to dinosaurs, to plants, to things that were a million years old. It hit me that this system was much older and stronger. There. She said it wasn't some disgrace to be part of it. She said it was an honor. I stared at the squash plants. It was a world in there. It seemed like I could see the leaves and flowers growing and changing. I was in weird days. And for just that minute, I stopped wishing my baby would die.